All right, what is up, guys? And of course, as always, welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle in the OU versus Julian Pickett, or as he wants to call himself, Yellow Beans. I'll see how much I, <laughs> which name I actually choose using. Now we haven't really decided on tier, so things could get really rough. And uh, for what is worth, like consider the things we have here. Yeah. There is, um, we're just out of options, really. So it's a single, it's a 20 minute timer, and it's hoping we can wrap the game anyway. And if we don't, at least we give it a shot. But yeah, the thing I'm using, um, let's see, the Freever 3 team. We got uh, Galera and Slowbro, because I really want to use that. It's a regenerated variant, not a quick draw. And uh, they're just fun stuff. Like I got Pinch Urchin to get it with uh, Alola Raichu because. Uh, the new move, the Lurkip move is really busted, I can't remember its name, but basically it's doubling in power if the terrain is up. So it's really spammable if the opposing team lacks a ground type, which he doesn't. This is this looks to be a Trick Room team and a very ferocious one of that. Um, I have at least one way I have priority in uh, Arya Kaf, which is an heavy duty boost variant. Um, now I'm gonna actually start off with my. Um, I think I'd lose nothing by actually starting off with my Yorchifu or my Ranamoth. And uh, it, by the way, probably the worst name ever. I really couldn't think of anything better. So his name is forever the Ranamoth. <laughs> now, if there one perk I do have here is a scissor. Looks to be quite right. Um, the priority helps, and Quov and I can't do anything versus Scissor. Uh, besides, potentially, if there's a bulk upset, probably pressure me for that. But, um, by the way, I really like how they updated to see the team on the preview, but besides pressing X, so that's super helpful. Uh, also, my avatar looks super fancy, but I'm missing my hat, so I'll probably introduce that again. But overall, like, I don't know what I don't want to see, but basically, if he starts off with uh, th this guy, then we are right. Um, so we'll get a single strike, and we're gonna go for that Dynamax. I was gonna say, but no, but the Bandit, the Wicked Blow, which I'm unsure if it knocks it out, but at least do a significant chunk. And uh, he could be carrying Will O Wisp, but as, as well, we presume this is a Trick Room team, and it will pressure me through that. And uh, luckily, I have two ways of priority, so I'm not like completely stumped if he gets his trick room going. Also, look how big your Shifu is. Or is it um, the Galarian, uh, what do you call it, Configurius, which isn't necessarily that big? That's right, he does switch out in not light hat to Surfetch, Deathwing. Ah, yeah. Gonna get a good neutral hit though. Let's see, Wicked Blow. Really wanna see. Oof! 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 Your sheaf is bringing the pain. Oh, damn. Damn, that did a lot. I mean, it's always critical, but damn. So, right, he switches that one out too. Let's see, to Hydra. Cool. So Hydreigon is real annoying for us. We'll still do a lot. <laughs> there is no switching. There is no switching here. <laughs> I'm impressed and scared at the same time. He wouldn't go for Dark Pulse first. That I'm sure of. I really don't switch in well to this at all. Um, I'm sending an Osma. I have special defense at least. Oh, we'll see what happens through there. Um, I want to bait his Dark Pulse, basically. Thunder Wave. That's, that's unfortunate. I mean, I'm slower anyway, but this clearly isn't helping. Um, I guess Ice Beam is a fair play. So we'll see how much this Dark Pulse really does. Plus, the um, inconvenience of Dark Pulse could flinch me in contrast to uh, potentially being paralyzed. So, not the best situation. He actually switches out. Okay, cool. To Deathwing. So, I'm just gonna try his recovery, I guess. We get the Ice Beam, which is great. 
but uh, he'll get his free recovery and there is really nothing we can't do besides fire blasting but I wouldn't do that much I'll see what see I still want to see what happens but basically he gets this one for free I just want to see if my fire blast is doing something ah there we go there I go okay so um, we clearly get, gave that one away at least we could send in Pinturgeon and um, we have a combination of Scald and Discharge. So the intent here is actually to uh, get our layer of spice up. Now we know Corviknight is um, Roost at least. Possibly Defog. He's really thinking about this. And I would too. I mean, come on, had I connect that Fire Blast, I'd probably do around 50% of pressuring him for another Roost. Then again, I should probably switch out from the get go anyway. So right, he does switch out and goes to Hydra. All right, it's not super bad, but at the same time, there's really nothing we can do besides um, discharging. Versus this, and I don't believe it take hits that well. We can try to get that paralyzation. I want to see if it has Roost. It has Dragon Pulse at least. And that does way too much. Luckily, Discharge should do alright. Yes! We plan for that. We absolutely plan for that. Um, so I'm sitting in Ragnamoth here. Basically, since it's paralyzed, I will be able to have speed and I will force it for a sack. He actually switches out. Okay. Two. Oh, he's going to be disappointed. <laughs> I, I'm not sure we got this one right. We're just lucky. But, but that works too. Um, this Wicked Blow is outrageous. I'd probably sack Hydreigon here if I were him. And then forcing Corviknight, which clearly forces my Pokemon out. Um, I don't think he's ready to sack this Pokemon. It is a great way for him of getting some proper trick room setting naturally. So Hydreigon feels like a fair switch in to just sack and then try to rebalance yourself. In this matchup, I think the other Yurushi for the water variant would have been a much stronger opposing Pokemon. By the way, never use this one with Scarf, always a band because of the critical hit ratio. It really isn't worth going for Scarf because of the damage output, it's just not there. Oh, he stays in though. He stays in. Oof, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, the, the wandering spirit. All right, what do I do from here? Um, I have a golden opportunity to, um, to write you actually doing some really heavy, heavy chunks. I just need that one to get that one in for free. Okay, two. <laughs> Probably the best nickname I've seen in years. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm sending an Osma. Um, he could go for a knockoff, but the first impression is he's more likely. And it's a neutral hit, but depending on his set, it could be banded. And if so, the first impression is still going to do the, the Chupa damage. It's going to do like million damage goes for close combat which still does a lot of act damage actually um, all right cool we're gonna try to reset that um, I'm presuming he would go for for a knockoff here um, the damage seemed like it was banded but it could also be just me that this duck has just that r ridiculous amount of damage output so which is just outrageous at times uh, but I assume him to be banded uh, to the full box okay and that is a very very scary Pokemon that I don't want to deal with ever uh, because he can super power away but unless he can set up his own um, his own trick room I think I'm fine 
uh, discharge directly. Um, basically, if it goes to Trick Room, I'm gonna go for Recover. It's super power. Okay. So that's good. We do take one. I'm not sure we want to take much more than that. So how many turns do I need? I really want to sack this and just get one turn of, like, get three turns of uh, absolute damage. Actually, that might be enough. Let's do that. I'm going for spikes here. Because I just want to have that showcase. And really, I just want to free switch it with Raichu. And this this looks to be just about it. Damn, the Rocky Helmet is just... It's just up there. Because Rising Voltage. That's the name. Double the power in terrain. Plus specs. Plus the Surfer. It's... Oh, you know what else could you ask for, right? And if Surfish comes in, I mean... <laughs> I'm just gonna leave him in anyway. Because first impression is just gonna eat me anyway. Or if, do I have a sack versus... Like basically do I want to... Be, I don't want to take this first impression. I mean... I have nothing that I really want to take it either. I guess Fade Max can up there, but... Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um, <clears throat> because I don't... I don't want to sack this Pokemon. It's, it's too valuable-ish. Let's see. First impression. We got that one right. <laughs> the train is over. How did I get the showcase right to at all? Um, we're U-turning here because there is, should be no reason for him of trying to sack this. And if it does, I'm gonna send in, send back actually my right shoe anyway. That's right, switches out, go into Hydreigon, sack it. No, Deathwing. I'm not sure about that. I'm feeling Hydreigon is such a good sack against this, but it, it doesn't matter. Um, because it, it's all about getting this play right anyway, right? So, my play here is... By the way, if you guys saw that, it's specs with, with Nasty Plots. I'm clearly... haven't fought out this moves at all. Um, I'm gonna go do Rising Voltage Direct, and I think this time Hydreigon is gonna get it. It's time to sack, son. Let him go. Let him go now. Please. There he is. There is the Hydra. Yes. Your soul is mine. Let's see. Yeah, I, I, I'll probably say without... That did a lot less than I wanted to. Um, can I risk it? Can I, feel, I cannot feel I can't. Damn, that did so so little that I'm I'm scared of doing this one again. I gotta, I gotta. Okay, okay, okay. Please, at least getting fully paralyzed if I fail. Oh, I go like, huh? Anxiety. <laughs> right, Mrs. Hattie. And the thing is here, like, what do I do? This guy gets mystical fire and super annoying. Bring in Osma. We have a salt vest, but should take something from this. <laughs> Basically, Moonblast is resisted, mystical fire is resisted. Uh, no, mystical fire isn't resisted. And there is the trick room, which I knew was going to happen eventually. And uh, this is both good and bad. I do believe I'm slower because I'm paralyzed, so let's see if the shell side armor can kick in here. Slowbro has never been more mightier in a matchup. Oh, oh, okay. You're doing this. You're doing this. We're Dynamaxing. 
We're dynamaxing. Did I say we're dynamaxing? We're dynamaxing. So he has Trick Room of absolute pain against me. But I'm slower, right? Yes. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's good damage. Let's see a Mindstorm's neutral hit. And will do. Absolutely terrifying amount of damage. And yeah, it got weird, alright. Do I want to do this? Yes, I want to do this. If he can, so can I. Thing is, though, <sighs> if I'm going to get fully paralyzed, it'll still go to the shitter anyway. But this is absolutely my best bet, as I this is the only way I can survive him. I could switch out to. Um, your Shifu and then you're just going back and forth but I don't believe I'm, I'm I feel like I'm out of options the next my storm will do a lot more so I really hope we take it but we're still faster which is great and Max Ooze could very well take him out but it didn't and I raised my special attack I believe <laughs> yay and Max play a yeah, yeah, I think we got that play right, though we didn't necessarily want it to get it, get it right, but we got it right, so hey. Hey, we got a Dynamax spell going on here. Who, who would have fought it? Oh, he withdraws, misses. <laughs> coward. <laughs> Absolute coward. Um, goes to Deathwing, which will get a resisted hit on him. Or an immune hit, that is. Trick Room is still active, so we're absolutely gonna go for that Max Flare. This looks so wicked, though. This looks way wicked. A crippling slow bro. Eating through the teams. Max Flare, nice! Slow bro! Slow bro, just eating it up! You know, his time has come, and the trick room went in my favor. I wasn't even paralyzed once. I am. I am very happy with how things went here. But with that said, I still need to deal with this guy. And he doesn't need to lock himself into first impression. Which means we got problems. Because I think he's free to go for close combat or knockoff. I could have sank Slowbro there really, but I want to see how he levels here. Knockoff, alright, and that will do... Damn, that'll do damn. Can I even roost through this? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure he's banded anyway. But I think he's faster than me. So... He's not faster. <laughs> Yay. But still, I'm... Like, if he switches to close combat, that's it. No, nope, I think he's locked his knockoff. And it's... <laughs> what is that? <laughs> the damage. Alright, you know what? Let's sack him. It's not. I, I think I'm in good enough position to wrap this up. Um, Blow Punch will do nothing because it's a surfage, so it doesn't matter. Um, but I think I want to try to wrap this up with your Shifu. But I don't think he has the means to pull that off. No, no it doesn't. So let's bring in Talon Flame and we're gonna show some tech. So this tech probably won't matter because it has a new move which is called um, Dual Wing Beat which lives with a priority with um, with the Gale Wing ability without losing um, its, um, its HP like it does with Brave Bird. However, it is 90% accurate which means there will be a situation where it gets forked up and we're always looking for those situations. But yeah, this looked to be quite an interesting game. The, the Dynamax aspect really, really, really made this a lot more interesting, if you ask me. 
Um, I'm going to absolutely wrap up with a Brave Bird. You earned it, buddy. Uh, first impression, of course, is plus two. We'll always go first. Uh, and then I think we absolutely kill him. <laughs> so there we go. Really, really interesting game. Um, to my opponent, Jelly Bean. Really, <laughs> thank you for this game. Really, really fun. Was interesting. Or Julian Piquet. This was, this was cool. I like this. This is one of those games like I wouldn't have mind if I lost because the the exchange was there. And sure, it looked to be in my favor from the get go. It absolutely did. Your chief were really pressuring my opponent, but hey, you saw I went. While it, I did have a favor, once he got some footing, I really never got mine back. <laughs> <laughs> so that just speaks to my opponent what kind of caliber he was so massive ma massive props man really great job on you and for everybody watching make sure as always leave a like check out my opponent his twitter is going to be linked down below and i think it's a youtube channel if so it's also going to be linked down below and you know as always make sure to subscribe and whatnot if you aren't because i will do this as often as i can so with that said it's all the thing for watching guys and have a great day take care everyone bye